too happy to hear you doing good. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, DG Slade, what up? We here, Ultimate Madness 4, July 24th, 25K on the line. I was just asking Slade, like, you know what I'm saying, how he felt. He said he said it's going to be a war, but he said that he, gonna, nigga, he feel like he's going to get through it. Oh, that's Swamp? That nigga did. Yeah, my nigga in the cut, man. Swamp time shit, man. Oh, yeah. So you, you heard what he said, Slade? What he said? Swamp said you dead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I heard he that a few times, did. man. That shit sound cute. I ain't never all dead, right. man. We always alive. You heard? Hey, uh, all right. Huh? All right. <laughs> hey, what's the question again? Bro was asking a question. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even get to finish the question, but it's all good. Now, the question I was I was saying to Slade, Slade was like that he feel like every battle, uh, if he moves on in the tournament, every battle going to be tough, but he's prepared for it. Um, So I asked you this. Uh, do you feel like this battle with Slade is going to be a breeze or you just, or it's going to be tough, but you feel like you're going to advance? I definitely feel like I'm going to advance, bro. I don't even... I don't even know what a tough battle is no more. I done been in hella wars. He done been in hella wars too. I've been mm -hmm. peeping him and shit. So it ain't really nothing. It ain't really nothing new, but it's just like now we got a chance to show this shit on the highest platform. So it's going to be a little different. I ain't going to lie. I'm bringing a little different energy for real. Mm. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, Beasley told me to stress that everybody that I bring on here that's in the tournament is two minutes, 2.30 uh, cutoff. So I just want to put that out there so everybody's clear on that. Um. Let me, I, I, I asked this earlier to J2 and True 4. Are y'all concerned with the fan vote? Like, if it's up to y'all, would y'all rather five judges? Or y'all, they said they, they said it's not even going to get to a fan vote, so. We uh, ain't even trying to have that. Real yeah, shit. Yeah, we, yeah niggas yo, trying to win clear. Niggas this what it is. Clear as a this bitch. what it is. Both of us been around too long for any of that. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to happen. Niggas mm. ain't got time for that. Somebody not, better yeah, stand so. down. I know, yo, it's, it's up. It's up. Listen. I'm already knowing. I, I'm, all right. All right. All right. Nothing else to say. All right. So you know. I'm already <laughs> you know. Yeah, with, 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 that being, with that being said, like, uh, DG, what you feel like is um, Slade's strengths? You said I feel like Slade what? No, what do you feel like is his strength? Like the toughest thing you got to worry about in the battle when you battle Oh, they love him. They love him for his plug talk, man. Okay. They love him. He he, he talk that street shit, man. He got a cool laid back aura, man. So niggas fuck with him for that for sure. All right, and Slade, what, what you think is DG's um biggest strength in the battle? Like something you worried about going into it? Experience. I told dudes this at the shit. I think he got more experience than all of us. He probably got more rep than all of us. Mm -hmm. Um, he get his punch on, but he know. From his last, from his old battles, from what I seen, he tried to punch a little bit too much and it started to get dry later in the battles. So hopefully mm -hmm. he tighten that up and even that shit out, cause I'm elevating every every round. I'm don't do that. So mm -hmm. I think his strengths is his punching, his experience, and the nigga can rap. Okay. But I, I think I rap a little bit better. I, actually, I think I rap a lot better, but, mm. but he good. He okay. nice, he good nigga. This nigga tripping. Okay. <laughs> this nigga tripping, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what you doing, bro? You, <laughs> Hey, you you know when you get booked for a battle, bro, all of a sudden your op just become ass. You just don't like nothing about bottom no more. That's what you already in that bag. That's what's going on, bro. <laughs> That's what's going on. You know my punch power on a thousand, nigga. You know how these shits hit, nigga. The same way I know how you know how to do your shit. You know what I'm saying? Stay I know woke, you man. do. Don't fall in that trap. Don't no, fall in look. that trap of acting like my shit going to get dry or some shit like that. Nah. Don't fall in that trap, my nigga. You know what time it is, bro. I, don't, I know this a face off, but you know what time it is, bro. Same way I know what time it is, bro. Yeah, it's, it's 5.16. But um, <laughs> this one up, yo. This the thing. Um. I'm approaching this tournament just like the Crucible. Not no offense to you, but I'm really not battling you. Like, I don't even care if I lose. I, I hate to say that, but I'm about to show my ass. I'm I'm, I'm auditioning for the long term. Y'all niggas, can, like, not y'all can have this because I ain't giving you nothing, but niggas can have this, bro. Like, I'm about to show my ass, my nigga. Like, no, no, I don't do that pause shit. I'm about to show. Yeah, my you ass. see him in there. Yeah, I'm about to act. Nah, food, nah, they nigga. all they all saying pause in here. That's that. That's they can say it a million yeah. times. I'm from Connecticut. Yeah. We close to New York, but not that close. Hey. And plus, pausing 
too much gets you stagnated, and that's why niggas broke. So I'm gonna keep mm. moving. But um, listen to me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm about mad to show you said out. that, man. You making it seem like you you making it seem like you about to leave this tournament on your own will, on your own time. Nah, with the money, I am. I'm gonna walk away with the bag. <laughs> all these niggas can have that. What I'm know, telling you, I know we about to have that. What I'm is what I'm explaining to you is I'm battling for something bigger than you. So come with your shit, cause I'm battling past you. Meaning I'm trying to punch through your fucking face and mm. go to. I'm going through you. Come with it, bro. I'm telling you. For so I'm going for through so. you, my nigga. Young. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Split your little shit, you heard? <laughs> hey, that nigga in the dojo feeling himself, man. He rapping his shit himself. Ain't nobody rapping back. So he like, yeah, nigga, it's up <laughs> for this nigga, man. Ah, uh, man, I'm, I like to uh, see it, put, man. I'm doing I like a little something, it, putting a little work, man. Nothing major, man. Um, chilling, man. Look, you know what I mean, now, now it's been three tournaments like this, and I heard some people, um, in the coaches say like. Even early on in the last Ultimate Madness, they said they ain't feel like niggas was rapping like it was a hundred K on the line. So just in general, knowing the, knowing the caliber of people y'all got in this tournament, cause y'all mo y'all yeah, I feel like y'all the most knowing of everybody else that's Breaking in there. Up. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, we got you. I can right. hear you. All right, bet, yeah, yeah. I was saying since y'all most familiar with everybody that's in this tournament the most, what what level can the people expect? Out of all, do, do y'all feel like this would be the best Ultimate Madness? I won't go that far because it was more experienced dudes. Like I said, man, you could battle 100 times elsewhere. That URL stage, that's a new experience. So yeah. I ain't got no experience there. I'm not going to say that. Mm -hmm. But um, it's going. I think it's going to be dope just like the first one. The first one produced a lot of new stars. And, these, and the, the niggas that produced is carrying right now. Yeah, gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah, them niggas sick. carrying shit. Luke Castro. So don't, don't don't sleep on niggas because it's definitely about to be up. And yeah. I'm gonna beat the shit out of some of y'all favorite battle rappers. So you gonna remember <laughs> that? Yo, I think yeah. I don't know what happened to DG. His Wi-Fi started cutting up. I think. Might have wild out on that man, man. Nah, I hear you. I hear you talking your shit. Let me uh. I think we're gonna we're we gonna wait to see if he come back. Hold on. But in the uh, but in the meantime, um, talk 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 about that whole process of the Crucible, cause I know even though it's on the app, some people on caffeine, they still didn't get to see it. So what what was the process of the moment you got into the Crucibles until right now? Um, well, basically the audition shit, of course. Yeah. But um, I didn't do an audition. Somebody reached out to me and asked me to do it, gotcha. and um. My scout, for some reason, was removed off the scout list. So I was just up in the air. Mm. And they put me on as a wild card. And went to New York. We did the 90-second round, two 90-second rounds in New York. I did my thing in that, John. Then we went to um, Phoenix. I had to whoop on uh, Tycoon Christ. I had to kick his ass. That's my boy. Shout out to Tycoon. And then in the next phase in Orlando, our battle casino, he's also in this tournament. And mm. I think me and home show, our battle crazy. When that dropped, that's going to be crazy. Um, but it was fun as hell. I'm traveling and shit. That, like, I hear a lot of dudes saying they won't do the Crucible, man. Listen, to anybody who up and coming that ain't that ain't make it there yet, Yeah, man, these dudes is paying for your flight, paying for your room for you to come do what you love to do. If you get the opportunity, if I was y'all, man, I'd do the shit. Word. I'm happy I did it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, you went from the battle in the crucible, now you on caffeine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 25K on the line, a whole bunch of, it was over 300 people, 300,000 people watching that gnome. So that that's, that's just to show what type of odds is about to be on, you know what I'm saying, this tournament. And I feel like, like you said, like me, like me I'm a big advocate for finding new people because... Nigga, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't held up on, like, oh, my error. Nigga, if it ain't no new niggas, there's really nobody to battle. A lot of the old niggas, niggas don't want to come outside. So, I, and, and I'm about expanding it because I'm not trying to do this forever. Just like I know a lot of other my peers ain't even. So, we got to pass the torch. Niggas got to take over. But, like you said, Jada Nightwing, real sick. Lou Castro, easy to block captain. Like, the list goes on. I feel like they all was on Gnome and they all have had, like, They've been dominant since Ultimate Madness 1. 
Easy and, to fucking start, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that Ultimate Madness 2, just to show the tournament works in like both ways, it was a, it was a lot of guys in Ultimate Madness 2 that been around, but they, they got back in the game. You know what I'm saying? Niggas started talking about them after that. So I feel like the new, uh, cause that's like a new thing. I know it was tournaments before, but with URL doing them, it's new. I feel like that's a um, hey yo, it's a good avenue. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I ain't talking to you guys. Nah, 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 nah. It's all good. Nah, I'm reading the comments. Somebody said, yeah, you show up and perform, you gonna make that 25k ten times over. That's a fact. That's what. That's the plan, man. So that's the plan. Like, but, but before you started battle rapping, you 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 was a, a supporter of the culture, right? Who was, like, some of your favorites before you got into it and now? Um, it's crazy, but, um, I, I've literally, man, I've been watching since Rex and uh, Uncasa, guy. I've been watching mm. for a minute. I ain't no young nigga. I've yeah, been around. Right. So, I've been a fan forever, but, like, Real shit, Good's been my favorite battle rapper forever. He ain't even the best. Mm -hmm. The nigga just rap all the way around. That's I like. I fuck with Lux Hard Body. I like niggas that could do both, go both ways, man. Like, yeah. Cause I make music too. My music yeah, got crazy. You, got you. So I like dudes that could do both. And I ain't saying it's just cause I'm here and you gonna see it when all the interviews and shit come out for the behind the scenes. I got you on my Mount Rushmore, guy. Real nah, rap. good looking, I, good looking, man. I appreciate like, that. I, I've been I've been fucking with shit for a minute, so I ain't I ain't new to it. Nah, that's fire, man. Like like what what I like to see like with True Fro and J two, even with you and D G, like I, I love the hunger. Cause now when you get on face offs, you know a lot of shit comes with it. Niggas know uh, a certain narrative of beef. Like it's so much to think about. Like like and I know from my point, like not even in age, just in like the beginning of my career, it was nothing to worry about except for rapping. And I feel like that's the best. That's the best time, cause a nigga don't got nothing else that he care about. It's no, you don't gotta worry about, oh, are my fans going like this this time, or is the coach gonna turn on me, or they not gonna let me do this. Like right now, it's just, yo, I get to go, I get to just go crazy. So I feel like I want to say all of y'all in y'all own right, cause everybody got different styles. I think I think this is gonna be crazy, because y'all know everybody got something to prove. Like, a lot of times now, battles, everybody don't got something to prove. Only c certain niggas feel like they got something to prove. But here, I feel like every out of all 16 individuals, everybody got something to prove. Yo, I'm on one. Yeah. I ain't trying to say I'm hungrier than nobody, but I'm on one, God. I yeah. am on it right now. And plus, I feel like a lot of these dudes been around and got multiple chances. Like, I never had a PG drop. Mm. Ever. I never got no opportunities like that. I got hit up for a PG once. We'll get to that story whenever we get to that. But I got hit yeah. up for a PG once. Never came out. I Once. Yeah. I never had no big opportunities. I never had a bunch of We Go Hard battles. I put in all my work at I Battle. And then I went over the gates of the garden and went through the crucible. So I'm really like the new face out of all these dudes. A lot of these. And me and Casino, really. But Casino Battle hit me. Yeah. So these dudes... These do I'm like really the only one who ain't had no real opportunity. I'm not playing. I don't I ain't saying that dudes ain't trying to take this one serious, but this is like my first one. I'm about, I'm not playing. Yeah. Nah, it's not. number three, four for them. Mm. Nah, I feel you. I feel you hundred percent. Um so, so you say you from Connecticut, right? Yeah. You ever bat you battled on I battle before? Yeah, that was my home league for years. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I had a, I, I think, I, yeah, I had one battle over there with City Towers. That was like a minute I was ago. there. A word? Yeah. You pulled up with clips. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's 100 Kick my boy City ass. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, somebody said your PG was at Summer Madness versus Fonz. Me? Yeah, Summer Madness 6. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. That was P DG. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I think they're getting them confused. So, D -D um, battle Fonz. So I, I I know Trufo at first when he uh pulled pulled his card because I didn't get to watch it live. He was he said he wasn't you know what I'm saying he was with it, but he was like, damn, I wish I would have picked somebody else. When you picked DG, was you like yeah, or was you like damn, I wish it was somebody else? I didn't care, God. Mm. I didn't want it to be DG because this this the funny shit about battle rap. 
when you when you when you a bunch of battle rappers in one place all day, y'all hang out all day and get a little cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we was chilling all day, and I kind of start liking the nigga. Yeah. Then I picked the nigga name, and I'm like, damn, son. And we was just putting respect on each other's name, but that's what that's what made it a little bit better, you know? Yeah. So you know. Um. They said, yeah, somebody. We outside podcast said, um. I got this being the battle, the best battle of the first round. It might be. It may be. But like I said, I watched. See, and this was actually one of the first times I ran around watching niggas' battles. Mm. I don't really watch my opponent's battles. I go watch one to see what you like to do, and I'm usually done after one or two. Yeah. I've been going and doing some homework, and he consistently do this. I'm like, this, guy. You go watch the crucible. I do this. That's what I do. So if he going like that, shake his hand on the way out. <laughs> now, I hey, you, now, 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 if you win against DG, because you know I, I didn't get the bracket yet. Who, who would, what, what two possibilities would it be that you would battle next? Oh shit! I don't even want. Matter of fact. It's out of, I think it's out of MVP mm. and um, Truth Watch, Truth if I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay. I now, think it's out I, of... I, I'm, now, I'm familiar with Truth Watch, and I'm not familiar with MVP. I think you battle MVP, guy. Oh, it's that MVP? Yeah, with the dreads. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I am familiar then. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with MVP. Okay, okay. Yo, I damn. think MVP gonna win that. I'm gonna, I be, I, I'm gonna be honest. This this how you know I had so many battles. I hear the name. I should have just automatically thought that's a nigga. I forgot I even battled him. So you said it. That's a fact. Don, that's so crazy, right? I really and that wasn't even me being funny. But nah, MVP is fire. I fuck with him. Yeah, y'all see me trying to clean it up, right? I said, oh that MVP. It's only one, right? I should have known. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so MVP and Truth Watson. Yeah, they both they both crazy. I like Truth Watson too. I might be wrong, God. Uh. Yeah. Don't don't quote me. I said I think so. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. I just know Truth Watson had that one line I thought was super crazy. Um, <coughs> the one in his head, like Cassidy shit. He had one. I think he about to get his ass kicked personally. It ain't a crucible thing, but yeah. it's a crucible thing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I feel you. I feel you, man. So, yeah. So, the possibilities if you with DG win is MVP and Truth Watson. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. That's why. So. All right. I ain't going. Uh, I thought DG was coming back, but I don't know. I guess his service fucked up. So, I ain't going to hold you too much more. July 24th, Ultimate Madness 4, Slave vs. DG going down live on Caffeine. Um, let me ask you this last question before you go, though. If you had to pick five judges, who would it be? And, and it could be people that was already judging. Just a solid five that you feel like, all right, they're going to do the right thing. I actually put up a little list before. Okay. I think it should be... It's five? Well... Yeah, yeah, because I I think they change. I think they eliminate in the fan vote. Okay. Yeah. So my original four was Mickey Fats, mm. you, mm. um, Angry Fan, mm. and since Showtime SP is complications with the love over there, I yeah. heard it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe a nigga like Daylight. I think Daylight wouldn't be biased. Yeah. But uh, I got y'all three definite. I would have to think about the other two though. Nah, that's a solid one. I I like out of the last one. I like Tony Bro. Well, yeah, you bring Tony Bro back. Yeah, that's yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, I think Tony Bro is solidified. And and I don't a know the a female really... though. A female, I think is necessary. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. Like a female in there. I don't yeah. know who, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what females solidify. Um, in terms of other dudes though, I like Three Letterman too. I like I like the way Three Letterman be calling um calling his battles. But yeah 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 we gonna figure that out man I think I have to think about that. All uh, right uh, I feel you I don't know you know what I'm saying on my behalf yeah but I don't know but um yeah Ultimate Madness four good looking for pulling up Slade good luck to you I'm gonna definitely be tuned in you know what I'm saying.